All right, guys, here we are, Andy Elliott, One Percenter Podcast. I'm here with this young stud who's been in the HVAC industry for a long time, been in the home service space for a long time, been a consultant for a long time. This kid's a wizard, man. I mean, and I call him a kid because I'm 44 years old, right? So like anybody younger than me, like I'm just like, dude, how are these young bucks coming up? So smart, so intelligent. Um, technology, we're in a technology era right now that what we're noticing, and I'm talking about home service spaces for a minute. And by the way, anybody listening to this, this is how to make more money. They're, they're owners that have been in for 10 years, right? They yep. didn't build their business with a lot of technology. That's exactly right. And literally this guy's going in, I've seen it done with a hundred companies. He'll go in, he'll show them where the holes are where they're making the money, where they're losing the money, how many clients are coming in, where the dough's at, where it's not at, where their highest energy should be put in today if we want to kill it this year. He coaches on them on it, implements a person, right, to handle the books, which he'll explain here in a minute. And then literally the bookkeeping is normally the hole, which That's is what right. we see, where, where nobody really knows what's happening. And they come in and fix that that quick so we can see what's happening and then they fix it. So many people around the world right now are making more money than ever, and this young man is helping him. He's, he's done it, but then he built a company, and how many people do you have on your team now? 30. About 30. So proud of this guy. If you're in the home service space, you want to listen up right now just to value the free advice he's going to give you. You'll change your life, but then also just having an opportunity to like team up with people that are super resourceful that can get you to where you want to go like now that's what i'm interested in. every time i'm around somebody i'm like dude i want to get there now that's right so what i do is i look around for people that can help me get there now i don't want to waste two years i don't want to waste five years i don't want to waste one more year i don't want to waste another freaking day so that's why this channel was created so brother i appreciate you man you can be uh, here. number one tell everybody your full name how old you are you married you got kids yep. and then let's get straight into kind of like what you're doing now okay right and yep. then so you can explain that really well and then we'll kind of back into what got you and led you to to build this company now and the holes you saw while you're like dude that's what i want to do that's the biggest problem in this space perfect so yeah my name's kurt denninghoff 35 uh have a girlfriend not married mm -hmm. have been married before though yeah, but you um, but you don't have a lot holding you back, so you give all your energy to this business. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. All okay. my energy is going. Super to this passionate about the home service space, and that's going to be electrical, HVAC. It's going to be plumbing. Yep, really HVAC, anything. Plumbing, home yeah, HVAC, plumbing, electrical. All those businesses we work with and okay. focus on. So and talk yeah. about your company right now. Yeah, so what we do, I mean, just like Andy said, like we come into businesses and we help them find the gaps, the places where they're losing money, and help them departmentalize so we can put the effort into the places where we can gain more profit, essentially. You know, okay. most home service businesses, this is crazy, the average net profit is only 3%. 3% as right. the benchmark. I would if throw you look up. at it. 3 to 4%. Imagine Somebody the, get me a bucket, I'm going to throw yeah, up. $5 million, you did 4% net. That means you're bringing home 200 grand to your family. So you're not an owner, you're an employee. Basically, right? Yeah. So let's say you got your 100K salary and you're bringing him 200 after taxes. It's not worth it. You're not, it's not worth it. Yeah. And you're all the stress, the late nights, yeah. the you know, missed vacations. Okay, so we're going to stop right here at this pain point, okay? Because okay. this is the stats, right? Yep. Numbers don't lie. These are the facts, okay? You're doing a little better in that good job. You're better than average, but it's time to be great. Well, Andy, I want to point out, you know how this is a big thing in the industry right now? All the PE firms are coming in. The reason they're coming into our space is because they know how to take an in, take a business from three four percent. So they go buy it from the guy for three four percent, mm -hmm. and they flip it into fifteen percent and then you see resell it every day. It. And so they they just have that financial sophistication to be able to make that flip happen. Can, can we talk about this for a minute? How many times have we seen these companies come in, just like you said, and they're buying these mom pops companies 10, 15 years, haven't made enough, making a million, two million, three million. Yep. They're they're not making enough to really exit. There's, there's hardly any EBITDA, right? That's right. They're coming in. They see that there's hard workers in the company, yep. and they're like, hey, you guys stay right there. Let's plug this in, and then in three years they roll it up, literally get it to making twenty million EBITDA. And exit the sucker for two hundred million. And guess what? The founder and the guys who sweat and, and get tears. and get thirty to forty percent of it. That's right. And they make those owners more money, but those owners can do it themselves. That's right. Yeah, that's that, right. so that's what I want to say is I, listen to me. If you're watching this and you want to run a, a three year exit, a five year exit, you need to listen right now. This is your this is bloodline changing if if you're awake. Absolutely. But let's back up real okay. quick into how you, you said like, okay, because I wanna I wanna give away some free information. Okay. Like where you saw you're you're in this consultant firm, you're helping these home and service space people, yep. and you're coaching them how to be more profitable, right? Yes. 
Hey guys, I would love to personally invite you to come train out with me. I'm gonna be coached by my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, June 13th, 14th, and 15th, right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. All you have to do is have trained with me at least on a training course before. So if you're watching this, if you've purchased one of my training courses before, you qualify for this. By the way, it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's absolutely free. So what does that mean? That means if you're watching this and you've trained with me, I'm not gonna charge you anything. I want you to come train with me. I want you to come out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You're going to train with me while I get coached from my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi. It's going to be three days straight. This room is going to be filled with about 500 people that are raging fans of what the Elliott Group stands for, is the core values, the standards, and winning and kicking ass. And if that's you, you're going to be with these like-minded people and you're going to be with me while I coach. I love you guys. It's something that I've never done before, but it's a private invite for those who have trained with me. So if you want to come to this, just text the number 918-210-02. Write it down. It's very simple. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Andy, my name's John Watson. I did buy your training course, you know, a year ago. I would love to come train with you on these three days with you and your company while you're getting coached. I'd love to spend that time with you. If that's you, boom, we'll send you over an invitation. It's limited seating, only 450 to 500 people, and then we're cutting it off. Let's get back to the video. And then you noticed you're working with people for eight, nine months, and it's hard to get honest with people. Like people don't want to want to want to lay out and and really look at like what's really happening, right? Yeah. Like you got to get honest before anything can change. 100%. So you notice that the bookkeeping was the first place you had to attack. That's right. To really understand. Like let's let's just back into some of that for a minute where okay. like that's that's where the quickest changes are made and that's why you built your whole company niching down specifically like on that hot point and then also the coaching that you put in with the consulting. Well, there's two I mean, there's two big reasons why. The first one is that in the home service space, a lot of times the bookkeepers are your the the owner's mother. Dude, the, the owner's, owner's mother should not be doing the bookkeeping. That's right. That's Dude, right. Let me tell you right now. I'm gonna But it's so you. common. No, what it is is that we're too afraid to speak up. Yeah. And to get anybody else because we start saying shit like this. Well, no one else will know understand our company like she will because or she's I don't, been with or us. Or I don't trust them or I don't yeah, trust them. We don't, them. Yeah. We don't want to get screwed yeah. over. Yeah. Dude, you're screwing yourself over. That's exactly right. And that person is not making you more money. They're not profitable. They don't know how to. And That's matter right. of fact, it wasn't what they were good at. You needed someone when we started the company and, to do and it. Andy, and Andy, think about this. Think about this too. So that mom, how many of our moms don't know technology? And so these businesses, of none of them, right? We're all helping them with their iPhones, and yet they're doing the integration between your CRM and your QuickBooks. Mm -mm. And so guess what? It's all broken. All of that is broken. Dude, I'm going to tell you what you just said was how our company started. Was it? Mm -hmm. That yeah. way, right? It was hard. It was a hard conversation with me and my wife. I said, babe, you can't – you're great. You yeah. just – you can't do this. And by the way – <laughs> she's so much better at so many other things, yeah. but because she was so afraid to take her hands off of that, and when we did, we blew up. That and that is what happens too. That's yeah, exactly I just want to tell you, like I understand firsthand. It's not just the home service space; it's every industry. But you're helping specifically home service space people. So, so let's go back to that. So okay. you're understanding there's someone that's handling uh, the backside of the stuff, and it might be an admin, it might be you know grandma, the an aunt, right? Mm -hmm. It could be anybody like that. Yeah, somebody that it. was loyal in the family that they feel like wouldn't screw them over. So they taught that person to do it. And now that person also has a limiting belief about how much can happen and how big things can get. And also that person has already sold and seen too much in the company in the past. So they're already programmed. They think they know the way that company can grow and what they're capable of. That's right. That's right. Most companies have no idea they're capable of selling for 50 to 100 million. They have no idea because someone inside has already, they're, the leaders, they've already maxed out the belief of what they think that company can do. That's exactly right. And you totally come agree. in and you're like, sorry. Let's change it. Yeah. And so let's talk about that. When you run in and you, you, get, you get into the bookkeeping, you guys like to play someone in to That's help right. make sure everything gets integrated right. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, let's walk through that just a little bit. Okay. Can we? I mean, like, yeah. like let's say I'm a business owner. Um, yeah. I'm not making what I, I want to make. I'm making 5% net. Let's say I'm making $10 million. I'm keeping 5%, right? Yep. And you're like, dude, I can get you to keep in 30%. And I'm like, okay, 
So what? Give me a couple steps. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna audit. I don't have to sell out and get acquired. No. And then and then you know split all the money. Well, we gotta find the later. gaps. So we gotta audit it first. We okay. gotta find where the gaps are in the process. So we're gonna look at how your integrations are done, right? How are we counting the money? How are we purchasing? How are we doing inventory, right? A uh, big gap, and this is a little secret we'll give right now. Most companies let their technicians run around with corporate credit cards and go buy equipment mm. at suppliers with credit cards. So, you know, the guys are buying gold-plated screws, right? Because they don't have any accountability. And so first thing that we got to do is we got to get controls in place. So what I mean is purchasing controls. We got to get inventory controls. We got to get uh, labor controls. And so what I mean by that is how are we clocking in and out of jobs? How are we purchasing stuff at suppliers? When we're buying fuel at the gas stations, you know, can the can your technician's girlfriend be right behind your tech and fill up her tank right after he fills up? Mm. Right? I always say this, if none of your technicians' family members are buying your services to get repaired, you know that you got parts walking into all your technicians' homes. Mm-hmm. Right? So, you know, keep an eye on these things. When at the end of the day, um, it's it's just checks and balances and systems and processes. Yeah. All right, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're watching this podcast, if you are in the home service space or you know someone who is, you got to see the number below. Make sure you shoot a text message now and just text, I want a demo. That's all you got to do. I want a demo. Literally, people, I don't care how much money they're making. Some people have a 5% net margin. Some people have a 25%. Some people have a 50%. This guy will show you where the bucket of cash is and how to get it. So if you want to crush it, if you want to make more money, if you're in the home service space, shoot a text to the number below. I want a demo. Let's get back to the video. Let's kill it. You know, our company scaled and grew when our processes and systems scaled and grew. Yes. We didn't get any better. That's right. We got better with our technology. We got better with our systems and processes. Dude, we were already working. A lot of these people, they work their ass off right now. They're all working hard. Uh huh. And that's so that's, that's why that's, I relate to them so much, actually, because right. yeah. I well, see that they're, they're grinding. Yeah. And they're, they're doing 4%. And they're. It's like seeing someone in the gym working out really hard, and then they're just like, uh, 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 uh. you're like, yeah. listen, dude, I'm glad yeah. you came to the gym today. I'm sure mentally you're getting something out of this, yeah. but you're not going to do your forms yeah. all wrong. It's all off. And once they start straightening up, dude, they start growing. They're like, oh, this feels way better, you know? Well, and so Owning, think about a business owner, right? They go from doing yeah. 3 4%, and then they have a month where they pull in, you know, 10 15 Dude, they light up. Guess what? Their sales start going better. Dude, they, they start leading their they teams better. They go back to being a lion and hunting again. By the yeah. way... Um, the people, anybody watching this that works for a, a home service space company, send this to the owner. Let me explain why. You guys want to make more bonuses. You guys want to get pay raises. That's right. You guys want to get paid more money. I mean, the person that sends this video that gets this set up, that literally creates more income in the company, that person's going to get paid more because they created value in a company and saw a hole and actually cared enough to help solve a and problem. And you know what's interesting about that? About six months into our programs, we end up going back through all the comp plans and we align all the incentives to help mm. the GMs make more money, the salespeople make more money. Because one of the things and we the do is we do scenario mm-hmm. analysis around comp plans. And so we want to help align the owner's net profit with the technician's net profit Where with everybody the GMs wins. so that mm-hmm. everybody wins. Yeah, that's but great. you can't do that if you don't have net profit to play with. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you can't do it if you don't understand where we're missing. That's right. Right. Because you can't think about that if you're if you're barely you're you're barely scraping by if you're only doing three four percent. Yeah. And by the way, in a plane crash, when there's a plane crash, you can't sit in the middle of a plane crash and say, "Man, what happened here?" You got to back out ten steps and then take a look in and be like, "I see what's going on now." Yeah. What? Uh, by the way, you need someone else with you that's seen a hundred other planes crash. You know, if it's the first one that you have, a lot of these people, it's their first business they've opened. Yep. And they've been in it for a really long time. Well, they've owned time. it for 20 years. Dude, they haven't done other businesses, so they dude, don't know. Dude, listen. So I got this couple. This is how fast I, I, I've seen you fix businesses, I, I, but I, I can do this with the relationship. So there's a couple, and I talked to them the other day. They've been together 15 years. They've been going to marriage counseling for the last three. Okay. They're doing all this shit, man. They're spending all this money. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, listen. I might do listen. Listen, I can, I can save you guys all that time. Yeah. I can save you all the money. Okay. Yep. If you can just follow some simple advice, okay. can you do it? And you'll never have to go back to marriage counseling again. They say yes. Yeah. They're like, yeah. yeah I'm like, course. okay. And I said, you guys look at me. If you treat each other like it's the beginning, like it was day one, there'll never be an end. Just treat, 
treat anything in your life like it was the beginning. Like no. when you first had your kid. Hey, I'm going to pray with you every night. I'm going to tuck you into bed. I'm going to brush your teeth. I'm going to... Dude, and then three years later, you stopped doing well, it. Wasn't that just the basics? Yeah. But like, that the is same the basics. deal is, is that when I first met you, I'm like, man, dude, like, you know, I want her to like me. Okay. Do you treat her now like you want her to like you? Or do yeah. you treat her right now like you've known her for 18 years? Yeah. And like, you're kind of, you're used to all the stuff she does. Well, it's you're annoying. Used to it. You're and used by the way, to you're it. already thinking about all the things she didn't do right. And you forgot everything she did do right. Yeah. Why you married her, why you love her. So I 100%. say, if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. And then I also say, like this. If you treat it like the last day you were ever going to be together, how would you treat each other? There's a book I read when I was young. It said, if I only knew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if I only knew this was the last day that I would hold my kid's head. If this is the last day I knew that this is the last kiss I was going to give my wife. If this is the last day I, I knew that I was going to get to talk to my team. If this is the last day. Like, what would I do? If it was the last day that I knew that I was going to, not even that I was going to be gone, but my kid might be gone. Yeah. Well, how would I, how would I operate? See, once you start living like that, everything changes. So my point is, is one person can paradigm shift someone's life. That's right. And that's why I like seeing what you're doing. Um, obviously, you care. Uh, you, you're, you're a very smart young man. You're very educated. You've worked as a consultant. You've worked in HVAC. You had a plumbing company that you are an electrical company you owned yep. when you were younger. You understood you know, when, when that run was over where you that's were right. like, dude, like, why didn't I have someone like me then? Well, I, I did it flip. I actually made all the mistakes and then went and learned yeah. the right ways to do it. Well, dude, so I, it, it's called, it's I called the learning it curve. And I'm sure everybody yeah. watching this has done the same thing. But now um, let's talk about um, integration. You guys go in. Let's okay. talk about some of these people that help in the companies. Because a lot okay. of people, it's like they say, oh, I got this technology you're going to buy. Then again, Judy, who's been with us 10 years, right? Um She's not going to know how to do it. It's That's not right. going to get done. So nobody's going to adopt it in the company. So you guys right. physically have someone that takes over the books. Is that correct? That's right. That's okay. right. And then so Judy, who's doing it now, right? And the advantage is so what we do is, you know, there's there's like only five. What happens to her? Yeah, so there's only on. five softwares that are in the main. You've got Service Titan, House Call Pro, and three others. So all of our staff, we get everyone certified on these five softwares. Got it. So we put them through all the training. Every webinar they come out with new stuff, we put the team through it. So everybody's up to date. So our team is up to date on all those processes. Mm -hmm. So when they come into your business, it's just another one of those. Mm -hmm. They've done it 10 times. So, so you, you have know. a badass on your team. So when somebody gets together with you, um, they have a badass on their side. That's right. right. Um, they don't give up any equity in their company? Nope. Nope. Did you hear that? You don't give up any equity in your company. You get to keep all the profits. You have a badass on your side. And then once a month, don't you get together with, with the owners and kind of walk through holes, systems, problems, things you see on how they can develop and grow? And yes, this is things? one thing that I learned from uh, much larger companies is they get in very solid meeting rhythms. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the owners are always running around. They're busy. They're doing sales. But you have to pull that owner aside and say, hey, we're going to have a once a month financial meeting mm -hmm. where we're going to go through the top line. We're going to go through the costs. We're going to go through where you're being profitable. I couldn't imagine a single owner right? not, not wanting to go through that. And the fact is, is that you guys putting it together, gathering the da data, putting everything together, yeah. he doesn't really have to trust someone inside of his company to hope that they're correct. You no. guys know that you're always going to bring him black and white or her black and white correct information. Exactly. And so we pull the KPIs. We have our own custom dashboards. Mm -hmm. And so then, yeah, we pull in that monthly call where we have a financial meeting. So just like the big boys do it, right? We go through the profit and loss. We go through the cash flow statement. We go through the balance sheet. Mm. And then we lay out pricing. We lay out the tech scorecard to see who's performing well, who's not. Mm -hmm. And then we always end with objectives. So, hey, what are the objectives for this month? Do we need to raise our pricing in this department? That's you know, great. And so that's, and then we take them through that rhythm. Like what's working, what's not working. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's a 45 minute call, but we want every call to be actionable. So that's that that great. owner can take away from that call and go work on their business for the next month. What are some things that you guys find? We don't have to name names, but what are some things you find on these calls? Like you find places that's bleeding money, right? Most of it, it's, it's, it's interesting. Sometimes, you know, we'll notice trends where randomly in a month we'll see, you know, a 20% increase in material cost. And we're like, hey, you know, what's going on in this month? And sometimes it's, hey, well, you know, the, the owner will look into it. Oh, the GM ordered 20 extra units and put them in the, in the warehouse. And we're like, why do we have 20 extra units in the warehouse where we're not using them for two months? Right? So let's identify that because that's eating cash flow. Yeah. Right? So we look for trends. We I look for that. big big changes that happen. And, and by the way, if there's never been any accountability before, 
Like this allows everybody to tighten up and become more responsible quickly. And by the way, if you want to make more money, you got to mature. That's right. Right. That's right. So like basically what you guys do is you allow companies to mature. Yep. You allow them from going from like amateur companies to pro. That's right. Right. And we take small. And the the thing is, Andy, too, like a lot of the stuff that we do is it's common practice when you get to 20, 30, 50 million dollars a year. When you hire a CFO, Mm -hmm. like this is what they do in your business. Facts. But the $2 million, $5 million, $8 million companies? Because they say they can't afford to hire that person yet. And that's like saying we can't afford to grow. That's right. Yeah. And a lot of it is it is too expensive for a $2, 3000000 million company. That's, and that's why we exist. Mm-hmm. Because Cause you don't have to hire a CFO. That's right. We can bring that same knowledge down mm-hmm. to those businesses. Dude, I see so many companies right now giving up equity. To do that. Yeah, truthfully. Yeah, I mean, and by the way, like, hey... Uh, I know three of them that do, are doing that same model where they're going in and saying, hey, you pay us this amount. When you sell for this amount, we're we'll, going to take, we'll take half your company. 30 or 50 or 40%. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll take and, half. And by the way, listen, you got to think about something. I just want everything about this. No one's going to come do the work for you. Even if somebody acquires your company and they roll you up and they give you all the stuff, when they acquire, they're, you're still doing the work. That's right. Okay, because <laughs> you're still doing all the work. They just come and tell you, hey, you need to do this change, you need to do this change, fire That's this it. person. You still do all the work. They retain you. You literally don't have to give it up. That's right. You can partner with somebody that will teach you all the holes. You'll find the holes, and That's then right. you keep the equity. You you can create the exit in three to five years. You can build the cash flow today. Um, you can look at, hey, an honest statement. When me and my wife decided we wanted to get out of debt, and yeah. save money. First thing my wife did, which is exactly what you do, and it wasn't comfortable. Like I know when you go in, it's exciting, but also it's a little uncomfortable because people are actually having to look in the mirror. Okay, and it's hard, but I want to tell her like this is how I, this is how I built a hundred million dollar business. Is yep. is is when I was in debt, I was in my twenties. My wife goes, we need to get out of debt, and I said, okay, cool, and that sounds cool. It right? Sounds good. That's right? like, oh yeah, let's go make a bunch of money. Everybody's like, oh, let's go make a bunch of money, and then this year passes and. That didn't happen. And then next year, we're like, oh, this is going to be our year. That's kind of what I was doing. Next year, we're going to save a lot. This year, we're going to, you know, and it just never happened. Yep. And so my wife pulled, kind of, which she goes, okay, we're going to pull the bank statements. Let's pull everything. Dude, Let's when look she at all pulled the, data. the bank statements, she had a pink highlighter and I had a yellow one. Yeah. Pink was any money she spent. Okay. Yellow was me. Okay. And we went page by page. And I started realizing that I was the one that kept telling my wife, like, why are we making so much money, but we're not getting out of debt? Why are we making so much money, but we're not saving any money? Why are we doing this? And I was always like, I don't understand. And I was like emotional, right? And my wife's like, well, amateurs get emotional. Okay, so we're pros. Yeah, we're going to get serious. We're going to really find out where the problem is. She goes, if it's you, it's me, it's us in the end. Okay, if your problem, it's my problem. My problem's your problem. So we're together. I was highlighting everything. And I went line by line, and I realized that my wife wasn't the problem. I the problem. was the freaking problem. I needed to see that I was the problem. Wait, you know what's common about that, though? Most of the guys that are running these big companies, mm-hmm. they're younger guys, and they're gung-ho, and they're making a lot of cash. They're driving a lot of cash in the business. They've got a good team of people. You know, you can't get to $5 million in an HVAC business in a single market mm-hmm. unless you're a driver. Right. But at the same time, they need the proper controls. So they're the guys who are like, hey, guys, just run hard. Here's your credit card. Everybody take your credit card. Everybody go. We're going to go fast. You know, I don't want to slow down the tech process by having proper controls in place. I just want everybody to go as fast as possible. Yeah, and by right? the way, fast is, is the quickest way to, to have a company ruin the whole foundation of the company. Yeah. And to, to – well, number one, the, always ask us, do you have a scalable company? If you don't have all these systems and processes in place, your company is not scalable. You can't scale. Mm-mm. No. Well – it's not scalable. Like, and by the way, no one's going to want to buy you. And Andy, that's like what I want to point out. That's so important. I don't about buy Andy, a mess. Like what Andy just said is so critical because if you don't get these systems and processes in place, everyone knows PE is in our game now. What they are preying on the guys that don't because they know in three months they can add all these things and the company will boost profitability by yep. ten to fifteen yep. percent. And by the way, Andy, I I work with the PE firms. They bring me in. Yeah. To do consolidations, they're yeah. one of my biggest customers. They, they, so I'm, I'm very familiar. That's what I said. You're, you're, with you're what a dangerous weapon for a lot of companies to have without giving up any equity. That's right. Yeah, and that's the beautiful thing is that like that every owner wants to hear this meeting. Yeah, I don't want to give up equity, and you're like, hey, we want to pay your people more money. 
all we want to do is go pro and just be able to see black and white what's going on so everybody can get paid more money. That's right. And then now you're scalable once that happens. And then now you actually are sellable. Yes, scalable and sellable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because and for what you're worth too. Like that's that's the big part. Like if you're running a five million dollar business and you know you're running five percent, with a couple tweaks you can get to fifteen. Yeah, and that's a life changing difference. Yeah, think about how many people right now could use an additional million cash in the bank, like like everybody. Like I'm I'm like me. It doesn't take much to change a couple things. No. To acquire an additional million cash. No. And then plus, 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 plus. But to take on an extra million cash. When you talk about like tightening up gas cards and doing this and that, people are like, oh, that's small stuff. Dude, how you do something is how you do everything. If you do one thing poorly, you do everything poorly. And I'm going to tell you, human beings are human beings. That's right. Okay. We do really well with responsibility. Once we know that responsibility is Being required, tracked, mm-hmm, we know. We become more responsible, which means we mature. That's right. And you're going to need maturity to build a big business. That's right. And if you don't have these things in place, you're actually allowing your people, your employees, your team to act immaturely. I'll tell you an interesting story. We had this, uh, I have this one client who, super nice guy, one of the nicest guys I know. And uh, he's telling me the other day, he's like, you know, Kurt, we're spending too much on our labor. And, I, and, he, t- and he showed that. And I'm like, man, you know that you're charging $500 for these commercial maintenances, but $250 is going to your labor. And I'm like, what's going on there? And he says, well, my technicians, like, we don't have enough calls on the board, and so I'm doubling up, so I'm sending two texts to every job. But I only really need one guy. And I'm like, "What's your, well, your marketing spend is only half a percent. Why don't we just boost your marketing spend to 3%, and now your texts are more utilized because you've got more calls, and your labor costs right, stay the exact jobs. same. Yeah. Right? And so this guy's a super nice guy. He's thinking he's being helpful by having his guys double booked. But really, he's just destroying his margin mm-hmm. by double booking his techs. Yeah. And so all we did was we increased his marketing spend, you know, two three percent. His labor dropped in half on all of his volume he's running, and the guy's margin boosted. Mm. Yeah. And and by the way, it's the same work. Same work. Yeah. It's the same. And, and guess what? That's his what text his text made work. more money. Yeah. He made more money, and he served more customers. Yeah. It's the same work. Right. I always tell people at the end, I'm like, it, it, it's the same work. Like you wait, you go to work at the same time, you leave at the same time. It's the same work. It's just a different plan. And by the way, we were talking earlier, like if you're, if you've given where you're at currently is because of the play you're currently running. It's right. because of the systems you currently have. It's because the experience is the information and the people that you're currently doing daily business with inside your company. Um, if you're running that play and you want more, maybe it's time to run a new play. Like, yep. like, that's it. Like, like we yeah. see people right now that are getting rich everywhere. Everywhere. And, but most of them are giving up equity to get it because people know your information and they're saying, hey, I'll tell you how to do it, but we're going to need to take equity on. And then they're like, well, if I'm not really making a lot now, but this guy can get us to this mad exit, well, then I would give up a lot to get an exit like that because that's a lot more than I'm currently making. That's right. But what about like, what if you could do it and keep it all? Or like, do a combination. I mean, Andy, the other thing too is, you know, when you decide to make that flip, if you do, if you're part of a consolidation, if you're part of a roll, if you sell to P. Well, and if somebody is know, a part of something can. right now, that, that that's fine. You, you, you want to add this in, but I just want to say like, dude, like you don't always have to, not if you're working hard and not if you're a grinder, not if you're a worker, not if you're willing to put in the next three to five years of hard work That's right. with the right technology, with inbooking and putting in the right bookkeeper, with putting in the right processes, with the right coach. Like, dude, it's over. Well, and Andy, part of the reason I'm here, right, is because you get the front of the house right, your sales. You get the back of the house, your operations, and your tech. You get those two pillars right. It's over. And you're unstoppable. Yeah. Right? I mean, really, like, you get those two pillars right. You get your sales, your marketing, and your technology and your finance right. Mm-hmm. So you're, how old are you? 35. Okay. And you've been in the home service space since you were how old? 19. 19 years old. Yeah. I was knocking doors. Yeah, I love it. Were you uh, knocking doors, doors, selling? Alarm what? sales. Okay, nice. So door to door sales. So you got in sales sales when you were younger. Then you switched over to um, electrical. Is that what you did? Well, I'm an alarm company. It's, it's an electrical okay, yeah, contractor, yeah, yeah. but yeah, that's right. An alarm company. Okay, cool. So you rocked that, and then yep. you got in, um, and you did HVAC. I actually sold that business. Okay. So I sold that business, and this is where I got obsessed with finances. I didn't get the exit that I wanted, mm. and so I became obsessed with finance. So you're like, I put all this hard ass work in, and then I yeah. didn't get the exit that I wanted. So you're like, how do you create a massive exit? Exactly. Yeah, and. 
then again, you got to have a scalable company. By the way, nobody's going to buy you if they don't think that they can reduplicate after you're gone what you're currently doing. A thousand percent. I, I want to just, what you just said is so accurate. You have to have a business. Because it's scary. That you can leave. Yeah. And... And they don't need you. Yeah. Like if I can make sure that you walk out and by the way, you're replaceable once you have these systems and, and this That's formula. Right. That's right. It's a, it's a formula is really what it is. You know what I mean? It is. And everybody's happy with the right formula. You know what I've learned when you What's give that? everybody the right formula, everybody's happier. A hundred percent. You know, a company right now, if you want happier technicians, people may say, well, if I add this, it's going to create turmoil in my company because we've been doing it this way for a long time. We're not like that. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, if you don't discipline your kids, if you don't take care of your kids, if you don't lead them in the right way, they end up being really bad kids. That's right. And then right? you don't like them and they don't like you. Yeah. It, it's, and everybody hates yeah. each other and it creates a toxic culture. That's right. Yeah. Th there's this, there's this thing called resistance and I see a lot of owners and, and business owners create fake excuses why this won't work for them. That's all a lie. hundred percent. Look, whatever you believe is the truth. Okay. So instead of saying, well, you don't understand, how about say, well, I think we can understand that if we had the right systems, the right bookkeeper, the right process, and we had somebody that it wor has worked with massive companies that creates big exits, that knows exactly what we're going through, that can help us, you know, X plus Y equals Z, dot our I's, cross our T's, and show us where the buckets of cash are, show us what we are doing right, and then show us what we're doing wrong, but not in a bad way to put our head down, but to say, hey, this is exciting. We've identified three key areas where we can fill this full of cash and make a bunch of money. That's right. Dude, do you know how exciting it is for somebody to show you all the things that are wrong in your company and then show you how to fix them to be profitable? Yeah. it's Especially if you're already working hard. Especially right. if you already care. Especially if you really want to be a winner. Because right. then they actually give you the path to become rich. It's a playbook. Yeah. Like, dude, like that's what I did, man. And I'm going to tell you, you know, when, when I started my coaching company, I mean, I spent like 700 grand studying everybody just in self-development to figure out how to reduplicate little pieces of things that, that are people working. were doing. Yeah. And, and I couldn't find anybody that had exactly what I had, but I knew what I wanted to build. So I just yep. kept studying and paying and, and it was like spray and pay. Right. Yeah. Um, you start picking up this piece here, this piece everywhere. There. Yeah. And I started building kind of my identity who I wanted to be. The cool deal with you is since you worked for a massive consulting company before you opened your deal, you saw what they were doing in these companies to fix all these things. But a lot of them grow too big. They are big and they're less personable. That's right. One of the things that I really liked about him and I want to tell everybody is that he still does the monthly one-on-one -on -one calls with the owners, which I think to me, that's the magic edge. Because honestly, a lot of people get so big, those calls disappear, the technology's integrated and it is, and then it all you just... You get forgotten about too. Yeah, well, I mean, I like relationships. Like relationships me are a too. big deal. I mean, it sounds to me like, you know, you like talking to these business owners, you understand who they are, you've been in the space, you understand their pain, you understand their struggle. When they hurt, you hurt. That's right. And then when you, when you find the wins, um, they keep all the cash. That's right. It's not like there's like, he's like, hey, hey, I fixed that. You know, I want 50% of that. No, he's like, dude, hey, I fixed that. Thank you for trusting me. Look, go take care of your team. Go take care of your family. You know, exit one day, you know, when you want to. Let's create a bigger plan. Let's, 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 basically, this guy helps you increase your dream. That's right. You know what I mean? And think bigger and really understand that. Look, what a lot of people are doing right now, I think there's a window of time that people are going to have in the home service space to get acquired. I think you're right. Um, you know, I think it's, I think it's I think about it's, five years. Yeah, I was about to say, I think it's three to five years that there's going to be all this money that is ready to buy these companies. And that's why everybody's focusing on rolling up all these companies in the home service space. That's right. And so why, and if you are, if you're wanting to roll it up, use them and then make it bigger. But if you're not make it big and be a part of one of these big exits. And by the way, people say, well, what would I do after I did that then do it again? Or, yeah. or do something else. Like, like, who cares? Like, if I put $30 million in your bank right now, like, you would have a couple days to think about what you yeah, wanted yeah. to do next. Yeah, you got a little time. Yeah. And by yeah. the way, how many more people could you help? You know, 100%. it's like, that's the cool thing about life. People are like, well, I want to keep working. I'm like, then keep working. Yeah, keep going. But like, what if the hard work actually paid off bigger than you ever imagined? 100%. Like, that'd be cool, right? Yeah, it would. So, um, all right, so obviously um you guys meeting him he's unreal 
Uh, I, I love being around him. He's at a lot of our events. He's always a student of the game. I see him, you know, doing so much business with everybody in the home service spaces. I love the way that he treats smaller companies. I love that he's involved in massive companies, but I love the way that he treats smaller companies. I love that he's so optimistic because he's seen the results himself on how fast he can change a company. And he loves and truly cares about people. Absolutely. Which is very rare because in this business, we become so consumed with numbers and money that honestly, at some point we become cold and we get disconnected from our clients and you haven't done that. And I don't think you'll ever do it. Cause I can say like you wear your heart on your sleeve. And I think to me, if you were to ask me, he's the guy you guys need to use. And I would tell you, he, he's the kind of guy that doesn't let people down. He takes shit personal. And I really like that. I think that's a secret quality about really high performer and coaches and winners. Well, Andy, that's why I'm here. I mean, you're the same way. Yeah. And uh, that's, I, that's what's attracted. Real recognizes real, man. That's why I've attracted me to you. And that's why I, you know, became a part of the inner, you know, all the stuff I've been a part of with you guys. It's, yeah. you know, you can feel that, uh, that care. That calling on your heart. That's right. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, dude, when you see people out there right now that are busting their ass, that have given five years, 10 years, 15 years to this market and they're not where they want to be. Listen, dude, it hurts they, me. yeah, well, because five years ago, them. they thought they'd be farther along by now. That's right. Uh, 10 years, they thought they'd be farther along by now. And really one of the, the most painful things is uh, a lot of the times people give up. They do. They're, they're, I mean, not, not like, as in like, I'm going to stop working, but they give up on the big dream. And then when they see other people that are creating these big exits, they're like, well, they were in a different market. Well, you know, they had that guy uh, or, oh, I, I didn't have the right person. Yep. You don't, you don't need the right person. He knows how, and he is the who, and you keep the profit. Wendy, or they sell, they make that exit for three, four, five percent. And they're just like, well, I did okay. Yeah. Look no, you right. didn't put all that work in I for did that. Okay. You yeah. don't want to exit with that. Yeah. No ways. All right. So let's finish out one last thing. Yeah. Um, anybody right now that may be uh, a couple questions that may be on their mind, anything you know, that you know that business owners are thinking of all the time, um, a message you want to deliver to anybody watching this? Yeah, I just, uh, I would say this. If you've already built your business to a couple million dollars and, you know, you're sitting below like 10% net profit, you are 30 to 45 days with a couple tweaks away from getting to double digit net profit that can then prepare you for the exit that you've dreamed of. Like, don't do the exit before you make those changes. Like, I can just the difference in what you will get is just life changing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't stop when you're at the, you know, the 95 yard line. Yeah. Or don't give you know, up. Don't and, give up and sit there right now and say, well, our company can't do that. And same thing on sales Bullshit. too. Like, you know, just understand what these PE firms do and what the big guys do. They come into your business, they tweak the financials, they bring in sales trainers, mm -hmm. they boost the top line by 20, 30%. They boost the bottom line and then they sell it again. You can flip that. You do those things, put those things in place, and then sell it. Mm -hmm. And right? by the way, you can walk everybody through every step of the way on how yep. to get acquired, on what steps they need to do, on what people look for when they're doing it. That's right. And literally all the key areas because That's you're right. the one coaching them. So you just you can't you can't find someone that does all this. Yep. Yeah, guys. So listen, man. I want to tell you number one. Uh, my man, Kurt, he's a killer. He. he He's so loving. He's such a good dude. I mean, clearly just by getting the opportunity um, to talk to him through camera, you can see what kind of person he is. I love people that that just want to win. I love smart people. I hate being the smartest guy in my circle. I hate it. This guy is so smart. He's so freaking smart. And I can tell, in, and I know that you know, that he's like a wizard. And he loves your industry and your space. And he's been in it since he's 19. He's 35. I mean, that's 16, 17 years in. He's worked for the right people. He has the right resources. He has the technology. And he has the company built now. And he gets results. And that's why he's with me. And so if you're watching this, uh, make sure that you, you shoot the text, the number, the, the text message. You probably see it below. There's a number. Um, shoot him a text message and just be like, hey, you know, I want to set up a demo. That's all you got to do. So, guys, we love you. We appreciate it. If somebody wants to follow you on social media or DM you, how do they follow you? Yeah, you, you go to at, uh, at HVAC Success. Okay, at HVAC Success. And you guys can DM them, you guys can message them, or you can send them a text on the number below. Okay. So, guys, we love you. We appreciate it. Let's dominate home service spaces. This is your opportunity. Let's go. See you guys in the next video. Let's get it. Yeah. 
Hey guys, I just wanna tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.